The News 11 exclusive workers on the front line fighting COVID-19 have been working harder and longer than ever before. That includes local workers with Mercy Air responsible for transferring patients from the Imperial Valley to other hospitals. News 11's Gianella Giglino spoke with Mercy Air about how they are saving lives in the sky. Above the Imperial Valley sky, Mercy Air is saving lives. The full-service air medical transport system diverts patients from the valley to other hospitals across California, both COVID and non-COVID patients. Known as the Arms of El Centro Regional Medical Center, these three men work as a team, a paramedic, nurse, and a pilot, a team that didn't realize it would be so instrumental during this global pandemic, but yet making sure the heart of the community is still beating. We kind of make a perfect team of hospital setting experience and, and 911 pre-hospital experience and when they pair us up our educations and our backgrounds really mesh well and have a good uh, synergy for our patient care and taking care of patients. Before the pandemic, Mercy Air averaged 25 to 30 calls a month. Now they get at least 45. The pandemic has extended their flight time, taking them to new medical destinations. COVID's been a roller coaster, that's for sure. Um, We've seen a big uptick in our transports over the past uh, couple months since this pandemic has started, where we typically see one to two transports a day. We're running two to three, sometimes four a day. The real difference is the acuity of the patients that we're seeing and the, the distance of transport and the time we're transporting. Mm -hmm. So our typical transport would either be to San Diego for services or mm -hmm. to Palm Springs for services. Now with those beds reaching capacity in those major metropolitan areas, we're now starting to see further and further transport times and distances. So we're going to Riverside County, we're going to Los Angeles County, Orange County, and as far as Santa Barbara on the helicopter. Wow. So it's it's quite the distance to wow. you know be taking care of a, a sick patient. It's a new new challenge flying with personal protective equipment, things like the masks and all the extra procedures we're going through now. Um, it's a good thing to work with a great team and, and be a part of the community and you can definitely go home at night and be proud of what you've done. We're in the air an hour and a half now going to these other places, but it's, you know, it's an emergency situation and we have to go wherever there's a bed available. The crew says that the helicopter is a flying ICU. Equipped with a ventilator and a defibrillator. Well, it's, it's a, it, it's a great feeling because of, other than us, there's, there's no way they're going to get out of here and get to definitive care. Um, the ground units can't do a lot of uh, things that we can do on the aircraft. The best part, however, is when the flight is complete. I think the most rewarding part after the call is calling the family members and saying, hey, you know, this is Ryan from Mercier. We uh, dropped off your, your mother, your son, your daughter, your husband at this hospital. Here's the nurse and physician taking care of them. And here's the number you can call them at. We hope you drive safe and we hope to see you soon. Everything went great. That's the most rewarding part. Yeah. The team says it will go as far as needed, all to save lives. If it's, if it's COVID or if it's not COVID, if it's a, um, a heart condition, uh, a brain injury or a traumatic event, we treat everybody the same. We make sure we're constantly preparing, we're constantly training, and we're in that, that state of it doesn't matter what call comes through, we're going to be there for somebody today. We got a response. Here we go. Mercier 27, this is Bill. Reporting in El Centro, Jane Allegiglino, News 11.